Hey guys, what's going on? Inception here, and welcome to another video. This card's gonna be interesting to try out after the patch, hey, with these explosive players and stuff being absolutely wild, right? Uh, we're taking a look at a card who is six foot one, medium high work rates, right footed, two star skills with a three star weak foot. Uh, in game player traits, he's working with the dives into tackles trait, which could be very helpful, to be honest, when it comes to the CPU AI stuff. Like, we, we never know if it actually does. But when it comes to actual tackle animations, a lot of the times it actually works out really well. I don't know. It's, it's the same with like um, certain cards playing the CDM position. Like when they have that trait, for some reason, they just defend really, really well, right? But uh, he's got leadership, power header traits, team player traits. So a couple of interesting things there. In-game attributes. Uh, Kohler is a lengthy player, which people say has been nerfed. It hasn't been nerfed. Explosive and, and controlled have just been buffed. You know what I'm saying? Like they, they still feel the same, but those cars are just significantly faster now. So it's going to be very interesting to try out this card in game. The reason why I'm saying this, right, is because we're obviously going to be giving him a shadow chemistry cell. But before the patch, this card right here was actually pretty decent. I'm not going to lie to you. Like defensively, he actually surprised me a lot in game. Now, don't get me wrong. The pace part, you know, sometimes sometimes he could get dusted i'm not saying that he he wouldn't right but he had really good defensive animations and good physical presence and you know this card is significantly cheaper now with this card existing but hopefully that's gonna be the same case with this card because obviously with a stat difference it's only in a plus one and a plus four for the pace department which could obviously be very very helpful so shadow chemistry cell will be boosting him to a 79 for acceleration 87 for sprint speed while making his defensive stats very, very good, right? Uh, a card like this, you could potentially give the Anchor Chemistry Style to. Do I recommend that with this recent patch? No, definitely not, right? The Shadow Chemistry Style is going to be more ideal because you want that extra pace to work with the lengthy Accelerate, right? Uh, no shooting capabilities. Passing is rough on the card. You have to work with that a little bit. Dribbling on the ball could be a little bit rough, right? Because of the 65 agility, 65 for ball control, 56 for dribbling, not necessarily in the greatest area, right? Uh, he is six foot one with a high and average body type, which for defenders usually ends up working out uh, really, really well. Now, with defensive stats being as good as it is and physical stats being as, as good as it is, you have to like really rely on the lengthy accelerate to really help out the card a lot, especially with the way that the meta works in the game nowadays, right? So uh, you have to be very, very careful with those kind of things. So uh, yeah, we'll be testing him out in the center back position. I'm actually going to be using him next to Lucio's card for that review as well. So yeah, we'll see how he plays. Hopefully he is a beast. Oh, this is hurting, man. We're good though. Let's go Kohler. Oh, we're good with Kohler. We're good. The grand switch here. There we go. Nice. You need to just force some sort of animation there. Kohler actually tracked back pretty quickly there. We're good, we're good. Try to get a lob pass on me there. Nicely done, just got to collect that quick. The challenge in. Oh, that's that's dumb. Oh, we're still good though. Let's go Kohler. Nicely done. Yeah, it's just they just go for the runs now, boys. That would have been bad. Good job, though. Good block. Go, Kohler. Intervention inside the box. Well, five minutes remaining in this, the second 
Yeah, that could have been bad. Even if you know that they're going to make that pass and you force that area, doesn't matter, bro. We wanted the penalty shootouts. Let's go. Nice. Okay. Got the regular uh, area there to block out. If he can, if I consider that, that's just FIFA in a nutshell right there. Get a two-goal lead and then concede off a kickoff off garbage. That would have been horrible. Uh, hopefully me putting pressure against them caused them to do that on the green time. You can actually score from those angles. That's why I was like a little bit concerned and I committed it like crazy. Oh. This game is so dumb. This game is so infuriating, man. Give me the ball. Oh, I even pressed the tackle. If I if I don't press the tackle button, I get the ball. Oh, Kohler. There we go. Guys, this Kohler card, you know what's funny? I tried out his uh, version beforehand, and it was actually really solid. And this card's pretty solid, too, even after the patch. Nice. See how he challenges with his weak foot there? It's very helpful. Let's go, Kohler, man. Let's go. Oh, yeah, it doesn't matter. Go, Kohler. Let's go. Thank you, Kohler. Guys, even after the patch, I'm telling you, he has great defensive animations. Look at Kohler, man. You can see that his pace was like getting a little bit slower there, but good enough to get the ball, man. Really good. Bro, like I'm telling you, this card, it performs better than I thought he would. I do not blame that on him. That is a poor FIFA mechanic to just go right past the attacker. It's so dumb. See, so that's the thing, right? You definitely notice him getting dusted in the pace department sometimes, right? But I'm telling you guys that his physical and defensive animations, it makes up for it a lot. You see what I'm saying? Oh, we got it. We got it. Okay, guys. So final verdict on the new Kohler card. Guys, I'm going to be honest with you, man. If you're making a Bundesliga team, this guy is actually pretty good in game. I I'm being serious. Like, he's actually pretty good. Now, listen, you do have to be careful with the counterattacks, the through balls being absolutely wild and stuff. You do have to be careful of it. I'm not going to say that you don't, okay? There are certain instances where he can get dusted, okay? But... Where this card gets dusted and he compensates really, really well in defensive and physical capabilities, right? Uh, you can see that his defensive animation choices during these defensive plays is fantastic. It's really, really good. And it does remind me of his previous version because his previous version was like that too. Sure, the pace was on the lower side, but he would compensate really well with really good defensive capabilities. Like you can see that when we go for a header in the air, when we go for uh, a body to body, uh, just going for the tackle for a possession based tackle, he's fantastic at doing those things. Like I didn't really notice that being a, being a, a big issue on the card. Um, with the dribbling, 
you have to be mindful of it not necessarily for the off the ball stuff honestly the off the ball stuff i didn't mind whatsoever it was perfectly fine it's more on the ball when someone activates some sort of pressure tactic right so when someone activates that pressure tactic you just have to be more mindful of that right but honestly the card is really good he's definitely one of the lengthy cards that still performs pretty well in this game like i honestly thought he was pretty solid he has like i said he has very good defensive animations he's mostly getting his dislikes now uh because obviously people wanted his stats to be a little bit higher especially with the patch and stuff right but i still think he's a really good center back that plays in the bundesliga so if we take a look at some comparisons to work with in the center back position like he's obviously not going to be better um than Lucio. Lucio is going to be that full meta card 100%, right? But if you take a look at the other options that you're working with here, there's really not a lot to work with in general. Like there's there's really not a lot, especially for a card that provides you those Bundesliga links. Like that's always like the biggest thing um, that you could potentially work with when it comes down to this card, right? So uh, very, very interesting card. I, I like him a lot. I thought he performed really, really well. Um, I don't mind the price range of it, considering he gives you those Bundesliga links. I think it's very, very helpful to work with um, if you're trying to build that sort of team. So, uh, yeah, W card, in my opinion, just got to work with the pace a tiny bit. But he's a very good defensive player, in my opinion. So, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video today. I'll catch you guys for the next one. Peace out, dudes. Love you guys.